hello guys so today we are going to discuss how to do a authentication uh, md5 authentication in ERGP. so uh, configuration is very easy first you have to define a keychain then key number then key string then you have to apply an interface layer so let's do the configuration so i'm using grs3 emulation softwares and i'm using the two routers and uh, ERGP is pre-configured and both router uh, is a neighbor to each other so we can also verify by our neighbor table so 10.2 is my neighbor now let's configure authentication so first you have to generate a keychain you can use any name here then you have to define a key number key number should be same in both sides then you have to define a key string so key string should be same in both sides so i'm using key string network cci then you have to go for interface level you have to go for same interface level which you are using for connect a next hardware so this interface is 0 slash 0 then you have to first you have to define a mode so the command is ip authentication authentication mode EHRP, then you have to define a autonomous system which I am using is 8000. Then you have to define a mode. So basically, classic EHRP support only MD5 authentication is do not support SA authentication. And in second command, we have to, uh, as you can see, the uh, neighbor relationship actually is failed. So now I have to uh, define a authentication uh, key string. So the command is uh, IP authentication key chain here job 65000 and you have to use the same name which is I'm using a system so I'm done with R1 same configuration you have to do with R2 so go to the configuration mode first generate a key you can use any name I'm using Cisco and the key number should be the same which is 100 then the key string also should be LC. Then you have to go for interface level. Then first you have to define a mode which is MD5. The second you have to define a keychain which is Cisco. And then the authentication, as you can see, the label relationship is You can also verify so IP edge of the label. As you can see, also you can verify a keychain. Also, you can verify authentication type. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.